Mark's Spectre Comics, and I'm back. This time, with a Golden Age pickup. If you're interested in seeing what's in this large package, stay tuned for that intro. Okay, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, they get in timely fashion. Alright, so like I mentioned, I got this rather large package. Um, ended up picking this up on eBay, I want to say last week or so. Um, just came in, had the chance to record it today. So um, let's open it up and see what's inside. It is a, you know, a golden age slab. And uh, if you've been watching a little bit of my content lately, I've been buying more and more like you know, Silver Age and Golden Age books, um, just because I think we can find some really good deals right now, and um, while people are snagging up a lot of these modern spec books, which uh, don't typically have any staying power down the road, um, you can really find these really affordable Golden Age books that have stood the test of time, and you find that, you know, down the road, they'll be much more... Um, I guess what I want to say is um, recession proof. So, um, in the meantime, where a lot of these comic books have been going down in value, Golden Age books have been quite affordable. And uh, that's where I've been kind of taking advantage of that. So, I picked this up and. Um, I was pretty impressed to see what it ended up selling for. You know, this book is, uh, I want to say, somewhat difficult to find. And I'll, I'll see if I can find the uh, numbers on uh, CGC just to pull up a census. So uh, give me a second for that. I just had to quickly look up the census just so I can give you some more information on this book. So uh, let me show you the book first and foremost. And... Um, so I just opened that up just to save some time. This is from Avon. And uh, Avon's a really cool publisher that um, tends to be pretty desirable if you can find some affordable in the wild. But um, this is Murderous Gangsters, issue number one. This is at a CGC 2.5. And um, says Wally Wood and Shu Hing artwork. And I believe this is a Seelfeld cover. It doesn't notate it on the book, but uh, typically when you see these like embedded into the artwork with a name on it, it typically is the name of the artist. Um, I have a Punch Comics 13 that is similar fashion that has uh, Gus Ricca written on the corner there, and it doesn't notate it on the actual label. So I'm pretty sure that it's a Seal Seelfeld cover. Um, Show you the back. Spot any car in trouble in a jiffy? There you go. Uh, nice little advertisement there for, I don't know, new troubleshooters for auto mechanics. There you go. For only a dollar. But um, great cover. Um, it's a, let's see, a four issue series. Issues number one and two are the better of the uh, covers in the series. I think this one is slightly better cover than issue number two, but issue number two is a nice cover as well. You see the um, lady in the red dress with the gun. So uh, you see her as well here in issue number one. Um, just a really nice cover. I ended up picking this up for $158, and it shows you it's quite affordable. The last sale was, I want to say, $300, so I got it for about half off, so that was a nice purchase. Um, Census-wise, there are... 27 in the census for blue labels and there's a restored copy so 28 total in the census uh, this is the lowest grade in the census with the highest being a 9.4 wow that's crazy 9.4 um, so uh, just shows you that you can pick up some really affordable you know golden age books if you do a little bit of hunting um, so that's it quick video uh, really happy to pick up this book, a really nice book, um, a little bit of crime, not not something that uh, I have too much of in the collection. I think this is probably my second book, crime-related. But um, 
really nice cover. And uh, like I said, just happy to have it in the collection. But that's it for this time. Mark the comics. All right, out.